of years, man has lived on the earth and has had some very strange ideas about it. Because it looked flat, he decided that it was flat. Definitely flat. In India centuries ago, some people thought that the earth rested on the backs of huge elves. The elephant stood on a giant turtle which swam forever in an endless sea. There were ancient Greeks who believed that the flat earth was surrounded by an ocean with towering pillars supporting the sky with the sun, the moon, and all of the stars. There were those who insisted that the earth had an edge beyond which lived frightful demons. If you came too close to the edge, as time went on, however, people became dissatisfied with these ideas of what the Earth was like. It could be flat, they reasoned, because it looked flat and felt flat. But why did the sun always set in one place in the evening? and rise the next morning in another? Why did ships disappear below the horizon as they sailed out to sea? If the Earth were not flat, and if a ship sailed, always in the same direction, it might eventually return to where it had started. When a ship did indeed sail around the Earth, Man could no longer doubt its shape. It was round. Today, if you were an astronaut, you could fly far out into space and see what the Earth is really like. One, fire, zero. From here you can see that the Earth is a sphere that seems to hang in space. If you take a closer look, you can see that it is partly covered with water, or oceans, and partly with land, which we know as continents. Notice that there is about twice as much water as there is land. That each continent has mountains, valleys, deserts, lakes and rivers, each a different size and shape. The Earth turns constantly. This is called rotation. Rotation? How does it work? Find something that's round. The orange will do. Anything shaped like this, we call a sphere. Next, we need a stick. Now, push the pencil through the middle of the orange. The orange turns or rotates around the pencil. The pencil can be called an axis, the axis around which the orange turns. Now, let's look at the Earth. It turns just like the orange. But the Earth doesn't have an axis. The Earth's axis isn't something that you can see or touch like the pencil, but it does have one. If you could see it, it might look like this. 
with the North Pole at one end and the South Pole at the other. Although we can't see the axis, the Earth still turns or rotates around it. Now let's go farther out into space, where we can see both the Earth and the Sun. Inside the capsule, you will simply float. Because in space, things don't fall down as they do on Earth. From here, we can see that the sun's rays shine on the Earth, giving heat and light. But does the sun shine on all of the Earth at once? On the side that's facing the sun, it's daytime on the Earth. But what about the side that's facing away from the sun? What's happening there? Yes, people are asleep because it's nighttime on the dark side of the Earth. What does the rotation of the Earth have to do with night and day? The Earth's rotation causes day to change into night and night into day again. Let's see. A day is 24 hours long, so that must mean it takes a day for the Earth to make one rotation. We've learned something about the Earth here in space, but there's more to learn back on Earth itself. Can we find out, for instance, why things always fall to the Earth. They don't in space. Why is it that unless something is held up, it always falls down? Is there some kind of force which pulls us and everything else to the Earth? There is, and the force is called gravity. Pick an apple. Let go of it. What pulled it down? What pulls them all to the Earth? Gravity. If it weren't for gravity, our Earth might be a rather difficult place in which to live. Everything would float, like an astronaut in space. Gravity keeps us, and everything around us, on the ground, and holds us there. We've learned a lot about the Earth, but we've only begun. To learn more, we can use a model of the Earth, a globe. Like the Earth, the globe is a sphere. Its surface is divided into oceans and continents, and it rotates on an imaginary axis, just as the Earth itself. Wherever the sun shines on the Earth, it's daytime. And wherever it doesn't, it's night. Rotation causes day to change into night, and night back into day again. Gravity causes things to fall to the Earth, and holds them there. Actually, the globe can help with many questions about the Earth. Why do we have winter and summer? Why do the seasons change? Why is it colder at the North Pole than at the equator? Why do snow and ice never melt at the North and South Poles? Why do we have temperate zones in equatorial regions? 